Good morning, members of the media and other distinguished guests. I'm honored to be here today surrounded by law enforcement agencies from all over here in Rutherford County. Today, we are announcing Operation Summertime Blues. This operation will run from July 9th to September 16th. It will be 10 weeks long and involve every agency here in Rutherford County. The purpose of this operation is to address the overwhelming number of fatalities experienced here in Rutherford County so far this year. Already we have lost 22 people to vehicle accidents. There are many factors that all of these can be attributed to, and we've looked at them all. However, our purpose is not to look just at those factors. It's not to look at our limitations such as manpower and overtime, but to look for solutions and ways that we can prevent further fatalities from happening on the roadways here in Rutherford County. Every agency in Rutherford County, Tennessee Highway Patrol, the Rutherford County Sheriff's Office, the Murfreesboro Police Department, Laverne Police Department, Smyrna Police Department, Eagleville Police Department, and MTSU Police Department have all came together in a combined effort, stretching their resources and manpower further than ever before to protect those in their jurisdictions from suffering any more loss of their citizens who travel the roadways each and every day. Through the use of predictive analytics by the Tennessee Highway Patrol and analytics from other jurisdictions, we are in the process of identifying days, locations, and times that these accidents are occurring. This will be the focus of our operation. We will be placing an emphasis on several different areas. One of those areas is distracted driving. When we look at distracted driving here in Rutherford County, there are 296 injury crashes we know of that can be attributed to distracted driving. Distracted driving is the silent killer that has not been caught yet on our roadways. During this time, each and every agency will be looking at creative ways to ensure that more lives are not lost by careless people who choose to drive distracted. 294 of those crashes have been attributed to speed. Those are the ones that we know. Impaired driving can be held responsible for three of those fatalities and 23 of those injury accidents. And then there are seat belts that account for seven of our fatalities and 23 injury accidents. But the one number that we all are concerned about is the 22 lives that have been lost on our roadways. As we address these issues, we may never know if we make a difference in one life, save one injury, or save one person. But what we do know is that when we fail to do nothing, we save no one. There are a lot of fun times ahead that await every family this summer. And we want you to enjoy them during your everyday travels. We can patrol every street every day. We can stretch our enforcement efforts we can engineer better roads and make safer vehicles, but we cannot control the responsibility of each individual driver to operate their vehicle with regard for the safety of themselves and other people. We are so proud today to have with us represented every agency in Rutherford County. We have several that have agreed to speak for us today concerning these things and the first agency that will be represented here is the Tennessee Highway Patrol. I appreciate Lieutenant Monty Terry, his communication, Sergeant Miller, uh, and their willingness to help bring these things together. Today we have with us the um, PIO from the Tennessee Highway Patrol, Lieutenant Bill Miller. We'll ask him to come at this time. Thank you. And let me say again, thank you, as I did last year, to all of the men and women who are represented here today. 
we know that as, a, as an agency, we cannot accomplish our goals without the, the partnership and support of our partners and friends and local law enforcement. But also more importantly, we understand that we cannot accomplish our goals of reducing fatalities if we do not have the commitment and partnership of the public. We as an agency, we, we know and realize we cannot do it all. There's not, there's not going to be a situation where there's going to be a law enforcement officer on, on every stretch or every mile of the interstate or highway or street, road, or, or county road system. Therefore, we need you to drive responsibly, ethically, and morally. As children, our parents told us to not stick our fingers in a light socket. Don't take your fork and stick your finger in a light socket, you'll, you'll get shot. We were told that. Some of us did, some of us, majority, hopefully didn't. But the message is, we listened and we didn't. You don't need a law enforcement officer every square inch of the interstate or county road, city road, street, municipal highway to remind you to slow down, to remind you to drive ethically and morally. Our officers need you to help them keep you safe. In Rutherford County, the Tennessee Highway Patrol is committed to making this county as safe as it can be. You have one of the largest, if not the largest, growing college campuses in the state or in the country even. Your population is growing. Your, your residential areas are growing. The traffic on the highway, in turn, is growing. We need your help. We're not asking, we're begging you for your help to keep you safe. We are seeing improvements, but we're not seeing improvements quick enough. 2014, there were 35 fatalities in Rutherford County alone. 2015, that dropped to 25. This year, we're already at 22. So we are decreasing, but not at a rate that is fast enough. The Tennessee Highway Patrol is committed, and we ask again for your support, and we say officially thank you to all the men and women of the local law enforcement agencies of Rutherford County for the jobs that you do, and we are committed to you as well. Thank you. Thank you, Lieutenant Miller. A lot of people see police officers out on the road. They see troopers out on the road. There's a lot of things you see and know and hear in the news. There's a lot of things that goes on behind the scenes that we don't know about. The Tennessee Highway Safety Office is committed to doing all we can to enable law enforcement to do their job. At this time, we have a interim director, Jason Ivey, who is one of those behind the scenes making a lot of those things happen that we do. And I'm honored to have him with us here today to speak to you, Jason Ivey. Thank you, Tony. First, let me say thank you for being here to help us get this message out. Uh, this will uh, potentially change the lives of so many people here in Rutherford County. Also, let me say it is a privilege and an honor to stand with these men and women on my left and right. Uh, they are the ones that are in the field making the absolute change. I thank you for your time to uh, coalesce around this issue uh, that's affecting Rutherford County. Let me say thank you to Tony Burnett, the Middle Tennessee Law Enforcement Liaison. He is an exemplary staff member and very much dedicated to his craft, and uh, he loves his work. And I appreciate him putting this team together to affect change here in Rutherford. Just last week, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration put out a pretty scathing report for 2015, we're at 7.7% .7 higher in fatalities in 2015. This is the greatest percentage year over year increase in the history of national record keeping. While this represents a tremendous blow, it also shows that uh, in the past decade, we have made great strides. Just 10 years ago, we were over 40,000. So we have made significant effort and significant uh, progress over the past decade. Our office has been diligent in addressing high fatality numbers reflected in our Tennessee communities. Much like the Summertime Blues Initiative, West Tennessee has done something as well called Operation Grizzly Bear. This began on Wednesday of this week, and they are thinking outside the box, much like what is happening right now here in this part of the state. 
and it is a, collect, a collaborative effort between uh, the Tennessee Highway Patrol and their local, local law enforcement agencies as well. As early as February of this year, we began to see a surge in fatalities statewide, and we began to speak out uh, verbally and began to look at things outside the box of what can we do. Unfortunately, Rutherford County has not been immune to this increase as well. Uh, last year, with 21 fatalities total, this year, at this time, uh, only six months into the year, we're at 22. So we are far exceeding what took place last year. There's a great need here. Also, Rutherford County ranks number two in the state for fatalities, only behind Shelby County. The most common factors affecting these numbers, and these numbers are precious lives, just so we're clear. These are not just statistics. But impaired driving, distracted driving, and driving without a seatbelt, I am still uh, confused that the public will not simply fasten their seatbelt. I appreciate Colonel Tracy Trott and the Tennessee Highway Patrol and the legislature for passing this year an increase in the seatbelt fine so that we can put additional teeth into not wearing a seatbelt. This is the single greatest factor that can save lives, and we need the public to follow this very simple law. Reducing these factors requires strong traffic laws, diligent enforcement, robust education, and high visibility in the community, and that is what you're gonna see even increase over the next few months here in Rutherford County. We cannot ignore the growth in our communities as we continue to see, yes, lower gas prices, increases in, in residential populations, economic improvements, we'll see more drivers on the road. Therefore, now more than ever, we must work together. And Rutherford County is exemplifying this through this collaborative effort. They are to be commended for identifying this extremely serious issue, coming together, and creating a roadmap for potential success. The Summertime Blues Enforcement Initiative offers Rutherford County residents the immediate community support and high, vis high visibility enforcement that it greatly needs. I will tell you the Tennessee Highway Safety Office is committed to high levels of partnership for uh, fiscal year 17. We've had high levels in 16, and we're committed to that again in 17, with probably close to 450 grants that we're going to provide throughout the state. It will take all law enforcement and Tennesseans exercising their experience, good ideas, basic common sense approaches, and sometimes thinking outside the box. I appreciate their efforts and for being here today. Thank you. Thank you, Jason, so much. Um, I appreciate so much every partnership that you see here in this room. It's obvious from what you see, the support that has been given. Uh, there was no doubt whenever I met with all these department heads last Friday that they were on board with what we were about to do. And there's not one of them that is not a major piece of the goal and purpose that we have in mind. One of those is the Murfreesboro Police Department. They came along full force, all in. And today I'm happy to have uh, a friend of mine and not only that, but the captain uh, at the Murfreesboro Police Department, Carrie Ginsma. Thank you, Tony. I serve as the captain over traffic and special services at the Murfreesboro Police Department. The large majority of my job is that traffic piece and the enforcement that goes along with it. Uh, Today, the law enforcement agencies of Rutherford County are here in an attempt to reduce fatal crashes. We're on schedule to have a record year, as everyone that has come before me has said. It's not a record that we are proud of, or one that we want to break. Uh, we are committed to work together to enforce the violations that are all too often the contributing factor to these fatal crashes. We're committed specifically here in Murfreesboro to join forces with all of these agencies here in Rutherford County to attack the following offenses that seem to be the majority of our contributing factors to our fatal crashes. Those are impaired drivers. That's always a big issue here in Murfreesboro, are uh, fatal crashes involving either drug-related or alcohol-related drivers. 
Uh, we're going to be focusing our efforts to uh, enforce distracted driving, specifically people who are texting while driving. We're going to be looking at motorists who consistently run red lights instead of seeing that yellow light and preparing to stop. Uh, we're going to be looking at the ones who like to step on the accelerator and try to beat it. Um, we're going to be focusing our efforts on speeders as well. And we're going to be looking at people who are not using their seat belts and aren't effectively restraining their children in their vehicles. We're going to be uh, addressing all of those offenses in an effort to try to reduce some of these injury accidents and fatalities in Murfreesboro and in Rutherford County. Uh, you will see the agencies of Rutherford County and our state troopers conducting focused enforcement driven by crash data for a more surgical response. We will then monitor the effects of that enforcement through the same data analysis to see what kind of uh, effect that we're having out here on the streets and then adjust as needed. Uh, we would like to ask the citizens of Rutherford County and Murfreesboro to help us achieve our goals by making a conscious decision to not drive impaired. Call a taxi. Designate a sober driver. Call a friend. A $40 taxi ride is much cheaper than a DUI charge, I promise. We want you to put your mobile devices down while you're driving. It's just not worth it. If you need to, pull over. Take that phone call. Send that text message from the side of the road or in a parking lot, or wait till you get to your destination. Buckle your seat belts, not only for you, but for your children. Slow down. Try to obey these traffic signals. If we can do those things, I think that all of us here are going to see a huge success in Rutherford County and in Murfreesboro with these tragic events. Thank you. Thank you, Captain Ginsmer. There's a uh, agency here that, just like all agencies, are very dependable for helping us make our goals a success uh, here in Rutherford County. And uh, the next speaker is, uh, once again, not just a partner, but he's a friend of mine. Uh, appreciate this department so much and what they do uh, for the Tennessee Highway Safety Office. And at this time, uh, We'll have Captain Steve Spence, Rutherford County Sheriff's Department. Thank you, Tony. Good morning. The Sheriff's Office is looking forward to partnering with these agencies to make our highways and streets safe during this campaign. We're going to, thanks to the help of Tennessee Highway Safety Office, with the overtime and grant money they allowed us, we're going to put extra officers on the streets and highways to enforce where we had uh, lots of crashes involving impaired drivers and distracted drivers. We're also going to attack, try to attack the issue with education of the citizens of Rutherford County. We're going to try. To, we're going to hold educational events throughout the county. One being August the sixth. We're going to hold a uh, traffic safety fair. We're going to have a seatbelt convincer, driving simulators, material to educate everyone the importance of wearing your seatbelt, buckling your kids up in a car seat, don't drink and drive, and don't text while you're driving. But most important, we need all of your support to help us with this campaign. Don't drink and drive, and please, like Captain Ginsburg said, put your phones down while you drive. Thank you. As you have heard, there's a lot of angles that we will be taking to make Rutherford County a safer place over the next 10 weeks. We will make a concerted effort to keep the numbers from climbing to keep any more lives from being lost and any more empty seats than have already happened uh, from being around the dinner table. Uh, thank you for being here today. Thank you for your help in getting this message out uh, to the public. And more than anything, thank you to all the boots on the ground, all the agencies, officers, deputies that are represented here today. You are a powerful force and remember, as you see these blue lights out on the highway, please move over and give them room to do their job and please take their safety into consideration. And remember this, they're not just out there to write a ticket. We're out there to save lives and to make a difference for our citizens. We owe it to Rutherford County and we will give it to Rutherford County uh, in a way that makes it a safer place. Thank you once again. 
uh, we will, this concludes our press event and we will be around for a few minutes if you have any questions for anyone. Thank you. Thank you for being here and thank you to all these agencies.